farm fresh local, um, fully sustainable, takes nothing besides air, seawater, and some bubbles, and that's it. Um, anyone else who grows seaweed in the state uh, does so in conjunction with something like abalone or something else. So we're the only seaweed only farm. And then on the west coast, there's only one more in Oregon, and that's that's it. So it's a small market. Dulce is a five hundred million dollar market, but so this is considered to be the next superfood. It's got more protein than kale, zero fat, um, zero carbohydrates, and very high in iodine, very high in iron. And the big push right now is because of those constituents. When you fry it, it actually tastes like bacon. What happens is, is as you fry it, the salt comes to the surface. So you get that really strong salty taste you get with a bite of bacon and then it kind of tapers off to like a roasted seaweed flavor and so it's got, it's a real big push with vegetarian and vegan consumers right now but for everyone else as well it's it's a very interesting flavor and most people are used to slimy weird looking seaweed